Hey everybody, Crystal Katsuna here, and I am big, well, big-er. <clears throat> so that means that it must be time for Snack Crate, or in this case, um, Universal Yums, because we got rid of Snack Crate, because Snack Crate didn't want to uh, deliver stuff on time, so instead we went with a different service, as you know, and this is the first one for this year. 2018, um, they gave us a clue last year, or you know, the end of last year, on December's box, we got a clue saying something about oil, olive oil or something, and it made me think of Italy. Um, now what they do though is they don't show the name of the country, they just show the flag, so if you're like really bad with geography, you won't know where it comes from. <laughs> so. Uh, I have the test handy dandy trusty scissors here that will open up the box and we'll find out what is it, it is. And it is a little bit late because it should have came towards the middle of the month. And here it's like a week and a half, you know, towards the end of the month. So hopefully we will have um, better service. <laughs> it's like it's not it's not showing very good service if it late already. Um, oh, there's some tape on this side too. Oh, which hasn't been there before, so they're really shoving their tape in their boxes. Okay, so we get to find out where it's from because I don't know what this flag is, so we shall find out. Greece. Okay, so it did say oil, so I was thinking Italy, but it's actually Greece. Um, and we got a bunch of different things from Greece. Did I, I don't know if I said Greece or Italy, but either one uses oil for stuff. So we have Greece, and uh, we have this little thing here that shows text and stuff. Um, what's that? You don't speak Greek? Surprise! If you can read the sentence, you actually do. Many words in the English language example of democracy, grammar, dynasty, has can be traced back to the language of the ancient Greeks. Example, demos, gamma, dynamis, dynamis, dynamis. We're not saying you could hold your own conversation with Aristotle, but there's plenty of influence that ancient Greece has ha had on our world today. And we're about to show you it's not just limited to language. We can thank the ancient Greece for theater, which originated from the ancient festival me meant to honor the Greek god of winemaking, Dionysus. We can thank them for sports. Have you ever heard of the Greek goddess of victory, Nike? What about the Olympics? We can even thank them for alarm clocks, which were one of the many inventions of the time, along with cranes and windmills. Watermills, sorry. Hmm, on second thought, let me let's not thank them for alarm clocks. But mostly we want to thank them for their food, as they were one, one of the first societies to be creative and inventive with food rather than just eating it for nourishment. We'll soon discover that some of the same foods that we've eaten in ancient Greece are still eaten today, and are even inside this box. So if you're wondering what the words say on top, say, Welcome to Greece. But then again, given how much Greek have influenced our life, do we really need an introduction? So, um, there's trivia, which we won't we need to go into, but we can find out what we have. So we have, first of all, uh, Toti's Onion Bread Chips. So that's what these are. Um, I would read through the whole like thing, like whatever. But yeah, nah. Um, we also have uh, Toti's oregano chips. So we got onion chips and oregano chips, and that's what these are. We got oregano flavored chips. Um, we have this, which is Serenata dark chocolate wafer. Well, I'm not gonna like that because I don't like dark chocolate. Um, and we got this, which is olives in a pack. Um, green olives with fennel and coriander. So we got some olives. And we got this bar here, which is uh, almond sesame bar. Uh, pe pe sesame pastelli with almonds. 
And this was eaten in, eaten in ancient Greece, it says. And then we have a series of candies. We got some Bliss Cocoa Toffee, which are little squares, and Derby Chocolate Bar. It's got coconut and crisp rice and a whole bunch of milk chocolate. Well, I'm not going to like that either, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, so um, we'll go ahead, we'll leave the olives to last because I actually really don't like green olives, and I like black olives, but I don't like green olives, so we'll save those ones for last. And I have some drink here to help wash down whatever it is I don't like. <laughs> and I've got Baby. He's a little baby. Mwah. He's a little baby. <gasps> Look at the cute little face. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go back over here? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with, I guess, the bread chips, since they're here. The first thing, the onion bread chips. Interesting. So here's what they look like. Not bad. It tastes like something else I've had. I've had something that soup tastes similar to this. Oh, it tastes good. So I don't. I'm not. I'm not mad about these. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's go ahead and try the dark chocolate wafer thing because I don't like dark chocolate. It's just too bitter for me. But I do know my friend, she likes dark chocolate. If my mom doesn't want it, I can give this to her the next time I see her. Though it'll probably be all stale because I opened up like that. I mean, it's dark chocolate and wafer. Like what am I? What do I expect it to taste like? Honestly, well, you could be surprised. Like sometimes there's um all sorts of different kinds of flavors of chocolate. Like um, there's good chocolate and there's bad chocolate. And normally I don't like coconut, right? <laughs> um, coconut for me is like, and same thing with mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. There's no rede redeeming quality about mushrooms. I hate all mushrooms. So you can't put mushrooms in anything without me finding them. But there are there's only one type of cookie that I will eat that has coconut in it that I don't mind. And that's the uh, Caramel Delights Girl Scout cookies. Which used to be called Samoas until they went and like generalized them. Because um, all, the, all the Girl Scout cookies just have names besides Thin Mints. There were Samoas, there was do -Si which were the peanut butter sandwich ones. The They had the Juliettes, which were the peanut butter and chocolate ones. Um, they had another one which was, no, Tagalongs I think were the the peanut butter and chocolate. And Juliettes were like a caramel pecan something or other. But they stopped making the Juliettes, so way about that. I know all this because I used to be a Girl Scout back in the day. Back in my day, I used to be a Girl Scout. Just like you, young whippersnapper. I don't know how popular the Girl Scout thing is nowadays. Like, I still see Girl Scouts in front of the store, so I know they still exist. But they don't go door to door anymore. At least, not without, you know, the possibility of getting you know, kidnapped or something. My grandmother took me all around our neighborhood and then some. Like, there was my neighborhood, which was like a bunch of blocks, and then we went, like, to neighboring neighborhoods. And I made a lot of money for my troop. I made, like, thousands of dollars for my troop. And it was because of me that we were able to do all the little fun things besides... <laughs> I'm talking here. It was because of me that I, we got to do all the fun things that we got to do. Like, we got to go to Waterworld, we did a lot of fun crafting projects, we entered a scarecrow in a, 
and um, I don't think that cost anything, but we entered a scarecrow into a, a Halloween contest thing, um, and we were able to do like a bunch of other like events and things and fun things that we probably wouldn't have been able to do if it wasn't for you know me selling all the cookies that I did. And the troop leader didn't like me because her daughter wasn't making that money. I was. So, this is the sesame almond bar thing. It's kind of interesting how widespread sesame seeds are. Um, in almost every single box that we have gotten, it, had ha it has had some sort of sesame related thing. This is sesame and um, almond. But we got like a sesame uh, and honey thing that one time. And we got sesame something or other in another one also. Um, go ahead and try the oregano chips. And I think like most of the stuff is is made by totis. Um, so totis is like like a really famous brand, I guess, because totis does the, the bread chips. Totis does these chips. Toti's does the bar, Parthenon, Parthenon does the olive, and Olympos does these, um, Noi, or Ion, Ion does these derby candies, and don't buy something else. Oh, there was something else. Did I miss that one? There was like another candy in here that I missed. Hang on, let me pack open up this bag again. Oh, this bag. Open up this thing. Oh, yeah. Bergamot jelly candies. We missed that one. We also got those. So. We'll go ahead and... Are you gonna give me kisses? Are you gonna give me kisses? Are you gonna give me kisses? No? Yeah, I got you a good boy. <laughs> I think he was trying to give me kisses and I kind of like denied him and he was all like, okay, fun. I won't give you kisses anymore. So here is the oregano flavored. Yeah, oregano flavored potato chip. They smell like oregano. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Tastes like oregano and potatoes. I mean, I'm kind of like really bad at this kind of thing. Like, I should be like, oh my god, these are like the greatest things ever. I'm not like that. I'm like so totally low key. It's just basically like, yep, that tastes like whatever this says it is. Like, I know you probably want like something more exciting or something, but like at least I show you the packages and I read stuff about it and, and I show off all the, you know, interesting facts and tidbits and things. Oh, you're gonna go in that box. Okay. Go have fun in the box. There shouldn't be anything in there that he's gonna get hurt on or anything, so. But at the end, we'll we'll do the, uh. No, clue to the next box at the end. I had to pick it up off the floor because I accidentally dropped it. Okay, so this is the Derby Caramel Mini Chocolate thing. But it's also got puffed rice and coconut in it so I'm not gonna like like it too much coconut is on the bottom and then caramel and then the puffed rice not a fan but knew that already going in Yeah, good boy. Come here. Come here. 
Some water? Is that what your problem is with some water? This is how he drinks water. You want water? There you go. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, look at you. Just drinking that water down. Yeah. It's good. It's just good. Want more? Alright, get more. One more. One more for the road. <laughs> Come on. Alright, that's enough for now. You don't want to get too hella waterlogged. Yeah, oh good boy. Mwah. Okay, back up there. Okay, so this is the bergamot. Looks like... Technically, it looks like a lime. Maybe that's what bergamot is, is lime? It smells like... Cap... Yeah, I can't read that. But it kind of looks like one thing that we had before. It's like co coated in sugar or something. Uh -uh. No. No. Oh. Definitely not li lime. I mean, I, I've had tea with bergamot in it, I think. Mm -mm -mm. No. It's very herbally. I don't know why they would make that a candy, but you don't need that. No. Mm. Mm. Good boy. There's a weird taste in my mouth. Let's start shoving all this stuff back over here. I think I'll keep the onion chips because they're not that bad. But the last thing that we have is this little candy here and then the olives. Excuse me. Excuse me. Quit picking on my on my headset. Thank you. Who was somebody to be talking to? Uh, he probably thinks I'm talking to him now because I'm talking constantly. Or I do talk to people online too, so maybe they'll, he thinks I'm talking to them. So this is kind of hard. It smells like chocolate, but it's definitely very chewy. Alright, there you go. What was this again? Oh, cocoa, co cocoa toffee. Chocolate toffee. That's basically what that is. You know, you don't need this package. You don't need the package. And I'll save that for later. When it cools off because it, or warms up because it's actually super hard and it's because it's been sitting in the freezer for the refrigerator for the past couple days. Okay, so last thing we have is olives in a pack. Um, it feels like there's like about um, one, two, five maybe? Five olives in this package? Let me open it up and find out. I mean, seems kind of grody, honestly, to have olives in a bag like this. Actually, there's more than one, more than five. Um, but here they are. They're marinated with fennel and coriander, so. I mean, the green olives. They aren't that bad. But I still don't really like green olives, so. Um, but yeah. There are some questions here that you can a answer. Um, trivia and they give you answers in the back like in in Greece all citizens must donate to church join the military have a passport or vote in elections um, in ancient Greece throwing an apple to someone was a way to say I'm in love with you happy new year good luck you and your family should be cursed contrary to popular belief which one of the following it typically isn't eaten in Greece hummus Greek yogurt feta cheese or, or a pita 98% of the population doesn't eat breakfast, are unemployed, are not religious, or part of the Greek Orthodox Church. And the Olympic Games started in Greece over 27 years ago. 27,000 years ago. 
2,700 years ago. I always fuck up numbers. Uh, today's what tradition in, um, what tradition in Olympic honors Greece role in the Olympic Games, or origin of the Games, uh, march in the first opening ceremony, uh, they march in last for opening ceremony, light the flame for the torch in Athens, they get, place the crown of all loose, imported from Greece on gold medalists. Um, so the, the answer is in the back. So, must vote in elections and it says the place where democracy came from is also the place that wants you to participate in it to participate in it all Greek citizens are required to vote but unlike other nations where they can't where you can be fined if you don't the rule is loosely enforced um, in ancient Greece is a way of saying throwing an apple is a way to say that I'm in love with you uh, it's a hot, lot cheaper than a ring throwing an apple a woman in ancient Greece was considered a mar marriage first uh, marriage proposal as that tradition fl slowly fade away uh, a new one appeared many couples in Greece eat an apple as part of their wedding festivities and send their love a sign of their love for each other um, which which isn't f which of the following isn't typically eat it, eaten in Greece and that is hummus uh, the hummus companies have a fool uh, hummus originally came from the Middle East and isn't often eaten in Greece they prefer a bean dip called fava, which is often served with onions, olive oil, and a spritz of lemon. Um, in Greece, 98% of the population are a part of the Greek Orthodox Church. 98% of the people are a part of the Greek Orthodox Church, and that was the largest percentage you'll see in the entire world. About 40% of the population of Russia is Greek Orthodox, which in, in the country is the second highest amount. In the U.S., you'll see even less. That's about two of percent of the population and um, four uh, one two three four and they didn't even they didn't add oh okay five the Olympic Games started in Greece over 2700 years ago today what tradition in the Olympics honors Greece Greece's role in the origin of the games and that's a Greece always marches first to honor the country's status as the birthplace of the Olympic Games, except for in 2004, when they entered last as they were the host country. The Olympic tor torch is always lit in Greece, but in the city of Olympia, not Athens. And the clue for the next box here on the bottom, roses are red, violets are coming to you, so are Madeline's truffle chips and heart feels with goo. Next place, the best place to visit if you're in love. And if you're not, no worries, at least you'll have yums. That didn't rhyme. But, Madeline's truffle chips and hearts filled with goo. And the best place to visit if you're in love? Paris? France? City of love? So we might be getting it from France next time. Which is cool, because uh, we did have a French one from Snack Crate, but since we seem to get better food in this box, then we should have some different stuff, hopefully. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and let me grab the baby, because he's sitting just there on my laptop. Mwah, there's a good boy. Mwah. Okay, so that was today's video. Um, we had Grease, and... <laughs> I could have made a joke there, but I'm <laughs> not going to. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you, or maybe not, you won't see me, but you'll have a video from me at least, here in the next couple of days, just like usual. So thanks so much for wa watching. I hope you enjoyed this month's uh, Universal Yum Box. Um, we'll, I'll bring back, you know, the one from the next for next month when it comes in. So. Be sure to follow Twitter, Instagram. I mean, I I honestly don't go on Twitter anymore or Instagram um, because I kind of forgot to lately because I've been busy with some other things. But I still have Twitter. I still got Instagram, so you can join them if you want to. And there's a Discord. Um, you can join that too. So baby says goodbye. Say goodbye, baby. Say goodbye, baby. 
Say goodbye to the peoples. And you're gonna say goodbye to the peoples? Say goodbye to the people. Say goodbye to the people. <gasps> goodbye, people. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.